Good afternoon, my name is John Umble, and today I'm going to be talking to you about whistleblowing. Throughout this course, um, I would, you know, hope that you guys would learn something from this, so I kind of outlined here, you know, the important parts of what I'm going to be teaching you today. Um, the first one is to understand what whistleblowing means and to know its importance in healthcare. I'd like you to be able to identify how whistleblowing affects um, nurse, nursing practice, to be able to identify how whistleblowing will affect healthcare, and also how whistleblowing will affect society as a whole. Um, so to start off here, um, I wanted to kind of get into what exactly is whistleblowing. A lot of times, you know, whistleblowing um, is kind of looked at as a negative uh, term, kind of same as narc and tattletale, you know, it just kind of has that um, negative connotation to it. But really, whistleblowing is described as a person who raises concern about wrongdoing. Um, it kind of, you know, ties into that whole idea of the nursing concepts of bene uh, beneficence and non-maleficence. In this next slide, I just wanted to go over some themes of whistleblowing. Um, just some just some general themes to you know take with you kind of throughout this lesson and then throughout you know your own professional career just to think about. Um, one perceptions of wrongdoing. Um, you know everyone kind of has their own perceptions of what is right and what is wrong. Um, in the nursing profession, we do have a pretty standard set of you know rules that we have to follow. Um, but again, what would push you to the point of, you know, reporting something? Um, also, upholding the ideals of the profession. Um, I just think that, you know, two key concepts of this is the beneficence and the non-maleficence of doing, you know, the least amount of harm and the most amount of good for our patients. When we see something, you know, wrong in healthcare, we really should report it um, to try to learn from it and improve <clears throat> for all of our patients. Also, clarity and evidence of wrongdoing. This is kind of interesting to me. Um, the way I look at it is, you know, do you suspect someone of doing something wrong? Do you did you see someone doing something wrong? Um, you know, those <clears throat> those two things can kind of affect, you know, exactly how you how you go about uh, blowing the whistle. Um, but it is important, you know, just to think about, um, you know, if you suspect someone doing something wrong, would you report it, um, or do you have to actually see someone doing something wrong? Um, next, consequences of reporting. Um, this is also pretty important. Um, there are some negative connotations to blowing the whistle, um, in, you know, in between interpersonal relationships and so on. So it's always something to think about, you know, when you're thinking about blowing the whistle. And also just workplace dynamics. You know, the healthcare field is generally revolving around a team dynamic, and, you know, the negative connotations of you know blowing the whistle can sometimes affect you know how a team will work um, you know dis different perceptions of just your coworkers and etc. Um, I'd like to add um, just some data that I found I thought this was pretty interesting um, a study was performed um, basically with like 400 healthcare professionals and the majority of them over 70 percent of them had either suspected or observed wrongdoing in the healthcare field um, so now influence on nursing practice um, to me, my personally, I think you know the biggest one would be interpersonal relationships. Um, if I, you know, had blown the whistle on someone, um, you know, it's very possible that they, you know, that the the, the team dynamic might kind of um, kind of decrease. Uh, it's possible that people might not want to open up to you as much, or they might kind of be guarded towards you, which can really affect you know the whole you know your whole shift depending on you know the team dynamics. Also, ethics and morals. Um, you know, nursing practice is very tightly re revolved around, you know, ethics and morals, um, you know, doing the, the most for your patients, doing the least amount of harm, um, you know, it's things to think about, you know, in your professional career, you know, when to blow the whistle and for what. Um, so it's really also kind of leading into the next point of self-reflection of, you know, what what do I see as wrong and, you know, what would I report? Would I report something that I saw, you know, if someone wasn't possibly intoxicated, you know, would you report it? Um, also, you know, whistleblowing can also increase documentation um, for you, you know, from reporting this, um, you know, event errors or event reports, 
um, documentation of the specific event that you witnessed or you know suspect you know it can take more time out of your day from you know giving actual care to patients um, which can also affect nursing practice so, uh, kind of involving that interpersonal relationships I saw a quote um, that kind of stuck out to me uh, the fate of whistleblowers can be bleak often resulting in personal and professional sacrifices that was actually a direct a direct quote from a nurse um, who had blown a whistle on someone who was intoxicated on the floor um, which, you know, she kind of saw some negative results from it, but still in the end, she did, you know, the best for her patients in that scenario. Impact on healthcare. Um, you know, healthcare, we are in the, in the business of, you know, improving patient wellness, decreasing mortality rates, um, and now even kind of patient satisfaction, you know, improving patient satisfaction. Um, so kind of these concepts of the beneficence, decrease patient harm, improve patient quality of life, um, you know, they're all kind of tied together for us to do the best for our patients. Um, whistleblowing is directly tied to that as, you know, through re um, reporting different, you know, scenarios, different wrongdoings, we can hopefully learn from them, improve on them, or, you know, cut out, cut out the parts, you know, that aren't working, people who are, you know, constantly doing things wrong you know, to improve our patient's quality of life. Um, also, you know, whistleblowing can negatively affect um, health care, um, you know, slightly by loss of staff. Um, you know, we're also in a nursing shortage right now. Um, I'm sure we've all felt, you know, kind of that, that terrible situation of not having enough nurses for patients. Um, you know, and reporting nurses who are doing wrong things, you know, they could possibly be fired. And then, you're at a loss of even more staff. Um, and finally, quality improvement. You know, blowing the whistle um, is so important for quality improvement. At the three hospitals I worked at, there was um, different quality improvement teams that would go around, you know, and their sole job was to, um, you know, find out, you know, the mistakes that we're making and see how we can improve from them, to, you know, to just tie into the whole improving patient quality of life and patient outcomes. Uh, lastly here, I'd just like to talk about impact of the society. Um, you know, I've been talking a lot about the doing the um, least amount of harm, the most amount of good um, for our patients, improving patient outcomes, patient quality of life. Um, you know, in the healthcare field, we are the first, you know, or we are responsible for a lot of these patients' um, quality of life. So it's important to remember how, you know, decreasing errors in the hospital you know, can possibly, you know, and will influence, you know, people's lives outside of the hospital. Um, you know, it's not just one little error here or there, um, but, you know, overall, as we report things, as we, you know, blow the whistle, we are able to learn from those mistakes, um, you know, and, and really just improve the health of our community, of our society as a whole. Um, I do have some references here that I got um, to kind of put together this lesson. Uh, thank you guys very much for taking the time to listen to me, and have a good one.